How do YouTube? Long time friends of the channel, all light. They've answered some of my prayers. So without further ado, let's get into it. And let's get this video ready and uploaded because there's a sale on and if you're after one, now's the time to get one. We're talking head tortures. I'll see you in a sec. Torches, head torches. We love them or hate them, they're a necessity. And look at the size. Now I have opened this, but I haven't done anything other than open the box and just have a nosy basically. Look at the size of this. It's tiny. What can I show you? Uh, a spool of line. You know, standard spool of line. It's tiny. I'll give you some specifications because I know people are interested in that. And then, but first of all, let's just get into it. Let's just see what's in there. So, as always, the unboxing with Olight is a standard affair. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. Things are nicely packed, um, but straight from the box. So you've got the box, there's some manuals in there as well. So you've got your box, you've got another box, bits are falling out of it. In the box comes a standard Olight one amp charger. This is the um, the standard Olight charger. This charges most of Olight's products. So if you've got one, you don't you know put that away or put it somewhere else so that you've got another charger somewhere else. You know anything with the standard magnetic Olight fitting, it should charge it. I do know there are different amperages. So if you've got one of the powerful lights, it may not charge that. But this is the one amp version. I think the other one, there's a blue one, which I think is a two amp version or somewhere around that. Now, like I say, long time friends of the channel, or like. And you will know I've been wearing the Perrin 2 with the same rechargeable battery in it for two and a half years. That's three seasons. Now, a lot of you may be watching this video outside of sale time going, bloody hell, £80, £90 for a head torch. If, you, if, you, if it's at that price, don't buy it. It's all light have so many sales. There's usually one at the end of every month. And usually the head, one of the head torches is in it. The one I recommended up to today was the Olight Perrin 2 kit. The kit bit is important because they sell just the torch on its own or they sell a kit with the headband and the charger and all the bits and pieces. You need to get the kit. This, however, I believe, and if I'm wrong, I'll put some text on screen, but I believe that it's just the Olight Perrin 2 Mini. Okay. And give me a sec, let me see. No, I can't, I can't go get it because it's in the back of the car and the missus is out in the car. <laughs> The other head torch is in the back of the car. Or is it? Might be in my tackle box. Give me yes. a minute. Yes, it's in the back of the car. So I haven't got it. Haven't got it to hand. Wow, this thing is small. It is teeny tiny. That's torch, battery, everything. There's no cords to come off it to go to a separate battery pack. Now they do do an Olight Perrin Mini. This is the Perrin, Perrin 2. Excuse me. This is the Perrin. Wow, it is tiny. Car fob. Jeez, it is tiny. Jeez Louise. And apparently, power wise, it is very similar. Yeah, very similar to the Perrin 2. Output wise, let's say I'll go through the numbers in a minute. But a lot of you may be saying, Ross, when you say they've answered your prayers, what do you mean? I'll show you. What I am going to have to do is find out how to get into it because, as with all low light products, it'll have a stopper. Okay, 
you can buy the batteries separately from Olight on their own. So if you want multiple batteries, you can. But how stinking tiny is that thing? You know, you could have three or four of them in your tackle box charged up if you're, if you're going on a long session, long, long session. It is waterproof to within a limit. Does it say what that is on the box? No, no. I'll have to see if I can find that on the website. But it is marginally waterproof. You can tell that because the battery compartment is separated. I don't know if it'll show up on camera with a little rubber O-ring. Now this is the Perrin 2 Mini in OD Green. You may find that when you go onto the website, if you're watching this at a later date, that this colour is no longer available. They do do lots of different colours and they, they, they're, they're limited run things. So like my Perrin 2 is a purple blue sort of face shift galaxy thing. It's not been available for a long time. A lot of the Olight fans hate me for actually opening it and using it, but I bought a tool, not a, not a, not a, not a, not a collector's item. Right, video's getting long, don't want it to be long. In the box, so that's the box now emptied. See, on the box it does tell you about the, um, about this, the, uh, the safety thing on the battery for shipping. You get a head strap. Which way around does it go? That way around. It's just a single head strap. The one that comes with the Parent 2 kit is a three point head strap, so it's got a strap over the top. I'm not sure which I prefer. I'm going to have to have a go and see. And then it comes with a mount. Now this I definitely prefer. Definitely prefer. So it's a hard plastic mount. It's got a recess in it for the belt clip that, live, that can live on it now. And then you just strap it down. Okay, just strap it down. It's a rubber strap. It just holds it in place. And then... You can rotate it because the clip that sits in the in the groove on the back is what's causing a bit of friction to stop it just flopping around. I wish that rubber strap was a bit tighter because I can see that maybe being a bit annoying. But like I said, we'll have to wait and see. And then it just goes on the head strap. in there always a bit fiddly to set these things up but obviously once it's done it's kind of done isn't it um the thing i like about this head strap is it's going to be washable yeah you're going to be able to take it off and put it through the wash so there you go i've not set this up for me so it's a bit tight so i'm not going to keep it on for very long but that is that is so incredibly light compared to the parent 2. The parent 2 is a little bit bigger a little bit bigger it's almost double the size and considerably heavier but i've got used to it and i don't you know it doesn't bother me but it's not the size that matters <laughs> ah oh that's a really nice improvement i did not know that okay user manual let's not bother so they all have several light settings and you're not really going to be able to see it because it's not dark Let's see what we can simulate. Eh? I'm doing this blind. You've just seen me unbox it. You've just seen me take the safety label out. But usually, there we go, one click and it's on. Now, is it going to show up on camera? There's an LED on the power button. That is something new. Something actually I didn't know was a feature. And apparently, I'll have to use the torch to read it, that relates to charge levels. So green, if the light was green, it's above 60%. Orange, which it is now, it's between 10 and 60%. Red, you're between 5 and 10% charged, and blinking red, you're less than 5% charged. Ooh. Now, it'll have multiple settings. Okay, now normally you turn it on and you hold the top button. There we go. There's the setting I use the most. Moonlight mode, or the lowest mode. With that on, it's going to last up to... 10 days off a single charge and to be honest like i said that's the setting i use the most but i don't use my head torch let's use it as a filming light <laughs> i don't use my head torch to 
fish with. So I don't sit and use it to illuminate my rods. I only use it for baiting up and moving around in the darkness. And that moonlight mode on a dark beach is plenty. But if you press and hold the button, it'll cycle through different settings. So we've got low, medium, hang on. Ah, right, yeah, moonlight, low and high. Is that right? Moonlight, low, No, there's supposed to be a medium. Am I not accessing moonlight correctly? I might have to check the manual. So we've got mo moonlight, low, medium. And turbo. Maybe I'm not accessing moonlight, but I'm pretty sure I am. Let me just check the manual. Let me check the manual. I'll be right back with you. I've turned some, yeah, turn some lights on. Okay, gotcha. Right, this is slightly different. How's that illumination wise? This is the moonlight mode. Apologies, I didn't have it in moonlight mode. So to put it in moonlight mode from off, you press and hold and it, um, it goes into moonlight mode. I press and hold uh, the button down on top, it should then cycle through the four different settings back to low, not moonlight. Moonlight, press and hold from off, and you get the moonlight setting. Okay. What you've also got, if I double tap, if I do it right, is a turbo mode. You see, that's just lit everything up. Now, that will only stay in turbo for about two minutes. And then it'll go just it'll drop down to high mode now stop it overheating and stop you running out of battery now i'm going to stop waffling on in the dark and i'm going to try and turn on the new feature which i don't know how to is it on this side right it is so from off and this has been my most requested feature for about two years so from off red Red LED, red light. I love using red light to fish with, especially in summer. Do you know why? Because insects can't see this. You don't get chewed to buggery by insects. Also, for you carp fishermen and things like that out there, it's invisible. It's invisible to animals. Animals cannot see, or majority of animals, or some animals, the animals that matter when you're fishing can't see this red light. So it enables you to have light without spooking your swim. Let's set some normal lights back up and I'll look, I'll talk to you about the specs. Oh, that's bright now. Right. So it is teeny tiny. I don't know are the specs in this or am I gonna to have to go back to the box? Because the specs are important to a lot of people, so I want to quickly go across them. Here we go. Here we go. So, in turbo mode, like I say, it starts off, it gives you a two minute hit in turbo for every time you use it, and then it dips to just high mode, which is a, a dip of 23% of the power. Now, if you were to keep it in high mode constantly, it would only last you 85 minutes. Not enough for a session, I appreciate. But in high mode, it would last you 100 minutes. I don't use high mode. In medium mode, it would last you seven hours. And in that low setting that I initially thought was moonlight, it would last you 26 hours. In moonlight, it would last you 10 days. For those that are interested in the turbo, it is 1,100 lumens. In high, it is 250 lumens. Medium, 60 lumens. Low, 15 lumens. And moonlight is two lumens. The red light is 40 lumens. And if you were to use that constantly, it would last 150 minutes. And for though, ah, here we go. It is IPX8 rated. I believe that's, um, about 10 meters submersion so it is waterproof <sighs> 
to an extent. A drop rating of 1.5 meters, working temp of between 0 to 40 degrees Celsius, uh, which of course, when it's on your head, it's never really actually going to be exposed to 100 de uh, to 0 degrees, or it's never going to be, you know, frozen, frozen. It weighs 54 grams, including battery. There's all your facts and figures and numbers. Like I say, for me, I love these things. I do not use them on high. I do not use them on medium. Turns out I've always used mine on low. The Perrin 2 kit, the one that I've been using for years, I can go three or four sessions between chargers. And I feel that this would probably do two or three sessions between chargers from a full charge to zero. You can carry the extra batteries, they're tiny. Um, the light itself is teeny tiny. But that red light for me is a game changer. Um, it does drain the battery. I, I'll give you that, it does drain the battery. But, I, I don't know. I just think it's brilliant. I loved, loved, loved fishing with, I had this one for ages the uh, the cheapy Amazon special still works but it's the elastic's gone in it I don't like the strap hanging about and you know you feel like a bit of a you know anyway it still works works just fine the thing I loved about it was the green light green and red and you know do they have the same effect out in the wild um, but I would use this for moving around. Like I said, that's that's primarily when I use my head torch, moving around and baiting up. And to be able to walk to and from a mark, especially some of the marks that I walk to, some of them are quite long walks. In summer, with a red light on, when it's dark, means I do not get eaten to buggery on the way to the mark. I don't get face full of bugs. Which, for some people, doesn't bother them. For me, it irritates the bejesus out of me. <laughs> um, I believe this is in the moment in the sale going for around about £50 I will correctly put that in the video now there is a link beneath to where to get one of these can't remember if they sent me a discount code but it's on sale anyway I don't have any vouchers to give you like I did last time um, but I think this is worth checking out and if this doesn't sound like it's your cup of tea check out the Perrin 2 kit that's the one I've been using for years but this one is going to go in my box so until next time guys sorry for waffling on for as long as I have in this I just love I love head torches I love a bit of techiness I think it's great and I think a head torch is something that, that, that all fishermen can relate to so if if you're watching this, if your fellow's watching this channel and you don't know what to get him, he needs a gift sometime soon, birthday, Christmas, Father's Day, he's just been a nice fella, head over to olight.co.uk. That's olight.co.uk. Pick him up a head torch. He will be forever thankful, I'm sure. Or just click on the link in the video description. Stay safe, tight lines, I'll see you later.